Hello everyone, welcome to another day in Shroud of the Avatar and we're in game with Scarface and we're going down into Exeter Crag Mines to get the book more ex tembris for so we can then go and give it to Dav Davpos, uh the Death Mage Trainer who's found in the Necropolis Barrens so then we can get the Death Mage pet. So let's see how this adventure goes. Now I'm going to find the mine first of all. Can I loot that one? Oh it can. I think somebody's just... Either they're just harvesting the bows, but why wouldn't they take the gold? Oh well, I'll take it. I'm not proud. <laughs> so let's get some lovely He stopped that and Normally it's following, following the wooden boards should lead us towards a mine. Uh, no, see what I want to find the mine. More than fighting elves. Uh, no, that's the camp. Definitely don't want to go over there. Promising. I remember the way. Yep. Looks like there's another player up here. Come on, Mr. Hines. I spelt it, pronounced his name right. Let's head on into the mine. Oh, well, bones is getting left behind. Okay, got food, got everything. Let's head on down. Don't need nearby players. Have we got a map in here? It was handy for players to know where we might be. But a lot of people have died here. And there's normally some archers at the entrance to this mine. So let's go and deal with them. This should be able to last now. Even though we're not too much interested in this upper area. Gain our loot. Okay. Um, now over here we'll find the boss, but we'll also find some chests. Chests nearly always contain a recipe. Let's see what they contain for us this time. Nope, got to come out of combat for that. Yeah, it's nearly always with these gem recipes, so if you do want the gem recipes, come down in here. You can get these gem recipes. Now we need to head a bit lower, so I've just got to find the, the entrance. It's over here. 
There's a ladder over the other side. Now we're down in the lower part. Let's be this part here. And I think we've got to head to level 3 and then we've got to go down to level 4. Piggy boo! Let's come out of combat, get our recovery, get our loot. get lots of copper or something in the top zone. Um, so we've got to go over there, so it looks like it's that way. Ah, oh, right, yeah, I think you see it. Thicky boo. Good night, Mr. Thug. <laughs> I've got to see if there's some slime down here as well, which we don't need to worry about. They're not going to let me go down there, are they? Alright, here we go. Use the ladder to go down. And we've got a wall to break through, an annoying wall to break through as well. Oh, I've got it first time. Sometimes you have to position yourself in just the right place for this. I'm going to move forward to the next layer. And the next layer. And if you read the book, it will tell you that they, he's uh, caused the cave in to stop the bad guys from getting out. should start seeing ghosts. Following the map, I've got a barrier here. That's the person I'm after. There are some of these skeletons on the floor. Are what we've got to activate and then they'll break the break down the barrier. Cool. Now, they'll go green like that if they uh, are ones you can interact with and they don't loot. Oh! It does loot and give you, gives you a little letter. Just got to have out which ones it was. I think there's three of them. All down here somewhere. One. Oh, some more ghosts. Self-organised in a minute. Left, right, left, right. There we go. Higher. No, we'll not use flame. We 
need some light. There's another one. There's one more. to sleep. Oh, got a ghost behind us as well, I think. Yep. Find you. Not worried, because every time I'm being hit, I'm training up my Specialization up on the top right hand. We're now on the final hurdle of it. I've got it at 79, and I'm only going to take it to 80 to get the maximize the uh, benefit of it. a lot of gold in these areas but they've taken them out because of course they moved the gold. It says that there's a node just here. That's oh, iron. We'll take it out once we've cleared the ghost. Yeah it's a lot easier with the skeleton isn't it? challenge. Let's, see what, let's turn on auto attack. Make certain keep that attack up. Oh, that might be the last one. Sword, that help. There we go. Out of combat. Yep. And now the barrier should be down. This way as well. Now there's two of them. Let's say this guy's got to go down first. Health, how are we doing? Oh, 1300, this might be interesting. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll loot him. I might have to do this one with bows and arrows. Let's see if we can stay in here. Just that he's got a thing on it. Holding. Still holding. His health is down to about nearly half. I think we've got to cast a couple of heals on us.
Nice. Focus, focus is holding nicely. Come on. That's the one I want. The Coupe de Gras. That's what I really want to come up. We got him. Yay, we got him. Right, let's see. Yes, that's what we were after. The book. Uh, yeah, this one here, which is Mars Ex Tembris, Travos, the Master Death Mage, has tasked me with retrieving a tomb of power called Mor Ex Tembris. He says it is held by the undead lord named Nyrod, who makes his lair at the bottom of Exeter Crag Mines. And um, the person is the Master Death Mage in the uh, Necropolis Baron. Now over to the Necropolis Barons. And the booking that we got. Elven Camp. Here we go. So it's a good area to pick up some Elven short bows. Right. Let's go through the troll pass. Up we go. Is there a troll up here? Yep. So we'll probably get caught by it. Right, but I want to carry on with our quest of the day. Which at the moment is outracing an annoying wolf. Yep, he's gonna reset. Head back into Necropolis Barrens. Also show you also find out where the death mage is. Let's bring up the map and that's the Master Death Mage up there. That is a tier five zone and of course you do come down here on the pass of love. Yep. And if you're on the path of love you just go through this tunnel. It's like a little two tier zone. Oh let's leave the map up so you can see where we're going. And in here you've got some spiders, some walls and lead. There's another skeleton put to rest. Oh, two-handed heavy sword. Looks like another one wants to be put to rest.
And we'll sort of chop the tree down. I think there's an obsidian deer as well. Oh, and Mr. Mage, you can go to sleep now. Just bring my skeleton back. Oh, it's gone somewhere. There should be a path heading up the hill here. Oh, there, there's his camp. Oh, look, little spark of your hands. Let's have a word with him. Oh, he wants my book. So many quest items now. So we'll use the filter. There we go. I've got two whistles for Samuel. And what does he give us? Well, he gives us a fair amount of experience points. 110... No, 11,000 experience points. 750 gold and we gave him the book finally so many truths could be revealed here here then is your reward and you are welcome to it avatar I will train you in the secrets of summoning Lord Dust ah, that I didn't know that was the quest to do that so I now have the uh, which have my first one. That was a surprise. I suppose we better find him and put him on our bar. Will he go on the non-combat bar? That will. If I'm in combat, does he stay down on the combat bar? Yep, so that means we can... We can only have one at a time. I don't know what his benefit is. Let's have a read on it. Right, so... I don't know what it does, just probably an offensive attack. Let's go and find out. Let's go to the wolves then. Gives us lots of extra hit points. Yeah, we definitely only hits a couple of targets as well. Let's turn off the auto attack and see how well he fights. He's taken off a couple of points each time. Right, I guess it's time to finish the poor wolf off.
Let's skin that one because it's the obsidian wolf. Just like the skeleton, he's got some decay on him. But if we train these things, I'll train these things up because this is what keeps them alive longer. And this is where I will bring this video to an end and continue on our quest in the next video. And of course, if you are new to my channel, if you can follow me on Twitch and subscribe to me on YouTube, it will help me grow those channels. You have the information for Shroud of the Avatar. Please feel free to leave any comments in the comments section and I will get back to you. And thank you for watching.